I started selling my paintings when I was 15 at the Kimball Art Center and I had been painting for years and years and years and I was very successful at it but at the same time there's no way that you can really make a sustainable living in my experience from purely doing the paintings and so at that point I had to expand a little bit and move forward and kind of find something that was new and interesting that I was able to express my creativity in the same way that I was with the paintings but in a way that was more innovative and interesting to people. John Pot and I decided to start a studio, a virtual reality studio, and create sculptures inside of VR and then 3D print them and finish them, sand them down, hand paint them, or I use those 3D prints to create molds and casts for ceramic and brass pieces of art. I think that's why I'm really happy here is because we've kind of made our our own little world where, you know, it's, is it art, is it technology, is it a company, is it a studio, is it photography, is it VR, is it sculpting, is it painting, I don't know, it's all of the above. For me, I've never wanted to consider the nine to five because I just know my soul would die. But that's kind of like the whole motivation behind this studio and this space is like collecting people who are just like misfits and outsiders and who just like don't fit into the normal like day to day life and giving them a place to play and have fun. I have always, always been an artist. I think that my mom had a lot to do with that because she was an artist when she was little and she had to give up on being an artist to become an accountant to make a life for herself and throughout my entire life she always was really clear with me and told me that what you want to do your passion your artwork is the most important thing to me and so she always let me know that it was okay to do that so when I was little um, I just was doing art constantly just drawing on the walls painting on the walls breaking into, into paint um, to me, there's something kind of like really rebellious and freeing about artwork and being loud and being open and making something and sharing something. To me, art is very much about divergent thinking and being able to problem solve in a way that is unique and creative. So if you're looking at a piece of blank paper and the, the problem that you're trying to solve is, I need to fill this blank paper with something, you're gonna start to build pathways in your mind that allow you to think of problems in ways that other people wouldn't. And so I think that it's a really important skill for everyone to practice so that they can look at all the, you know, someday that blank page is gonna be the fact that somebody doesn't have access to food and to water and they're gonna be able to solve that problem in totally divergent ways because they've built up those muscles in their mind by making artwork. Art is freedom. Today I am going to be creating a sister piece to our coral lamp. What it is, it's a sculpture that I hand draw inside of the VR to appear to look like coral and I create shapes that appear as if they are growing, so they are like really beautiful, organic looking. So what I'll do is I will jump into the VR using reference images of real corals and other sculptures that I've um, seen around. I'll take those photo reference images and then I'll start drawing a sculpture to match those reference images. I'll 3D print it and hand finish it. And yeah.
To be an artist, you have to find a balance between loving and being crazy and weird and cool and different and making something unique, and then understanding how that can go into the world and be valuable to someone.